This is the easiest, cleanest banana bread recipe you've ever seen in your entire life. All whole food ingredients, no added salt, oil, sugar, or any of that other garbage so that you can maintain your health and keep well snacked. All right, let's do it. Hey everybody, this is Dylan. I make videos showing you how fast and easy and tasty it can be to eat healthy whole plant food ingredients such as this recipe. So it's time to revamp the banana bread. It's been a while since I made this. I'm doing it in the food processor this time and I'm making a double batch so if you're only making one, just divide by two. You get the gist. First step is I have a quarter cup of whole flax seeds that I need to grind into flax meal. Of course, you can buy it already flax mealed but we're going to grind this up in the little bullet blender. All right, there it is all ground up, looks nice. So let's throw our quarter cup of the flax meal in there with three quarters of a cup of water. And I'm just gonna whisk this up and set it aside. We'll come back to that later. Meanwhile, I've got four cups of whole wheat flour. You can try this with oat flour. When I do it, it kind of comes out a little bit mushier, but that's okay, it's not the end of the world if you're trying to avoid the gluten. Along with that, I've got about a teaspoon of cinnamon, a teaspoon of baking soda, and two teaspoons of baking powder. All right, and now let's just whisk up all of those dry ingredients together. Beautiful, we'll set that aside as well. Okay, now for the fun part, I've got 10 of these super ripe, mushy bananas. Oh yeah, look at those. And I'm gonna start throwing them into this food processor. Oh, these are mushy. I have a huge food processor, so I'm gonna be able to fit all 10 of these in one batch. Oh my goodness. Remember, this is a double batch, so along with the 10 bananas, I've got like 10 or 15 of these deglet dates, and then around a teaspoon or so of vanilla. You can use a little more vanilla if you want. And those will go in. All right, fire it up. All right, I gave it like a minute till the dates are really nice and smooth. We want this all homogenous, okay? Let's be done. Careful with the blade. They're sharp. Let's put it all together. We've got our dry ingredients, the oat flour and all that, and then we've got the flax meal that we've got sitting over here. We've got the wet stuff, and then I also have one cup of walnuts that I've sort of smashed up a little bit. All we do is combine and mix it up. So in goes this. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, walnuts and the flax eggs. All right, let's get the monster spoon and give this a stir. Mm-hmm. Okay, here's the hard part, which that's a joke because this is not hard. Take a regular bread pan, any kind. This is glass. I'm also doing a metal one, okay? I'm doing both. And just take a piece of parchment paper, shove the piece of parchment paper down in. It doesn't have to be perfect. Don't worry about it. It's gonna try to come out. Get your first spoonful of batter in there and it'll stay. And then try to put, I'm doing two loaves, so just try to get half, you know what I'm saying? And poke it around once it's in there and get it to sort of level out so you've got a nice even loaf. We'll lick everything up. Okay, let's get these in the oven. We're doing 350. It's gonna take about an hour. After an hour, see, do the toothpick method. Just shove in a toothpick and if it comes out clean, then it's done. Otherwise, put it in for another five, 10 minutes and just keep checking it every once in a while. It'll also vary based on whether you use oat flour or whole wheat flour. So just test it out. You'll figure it out. It's gonna take you like one time and then you've got this. Oh yeah. And then I like to just pull them right out, but I don't know if they're done. They're still a little soft. Oh yeah, look at you. Mm -hmm. All right, let's slice one up. I really should let it cool longer, but I'm being impatient. Mm. It's still a little mushy, but I like it. Oh, let it cool. You just let it cool. Mmm. Oh, that is so good. You know I'm all about getting in and out of the kitchen as quickly as possible, eating clean, whole food ingredients. So if you want to see some more videos that'll help you maintain your health and cook really fast and easy, then check out this playlist right here. I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.